What's going on guys, Stabs here, welcome back to another one of my videos. Uh, what you guys be watching today um, is a quick uh, little video that uh, I saw. Uh, most of you guys do know the uh, patch that are going to be coming up to uh, Advanced Warfare where they're going to be buffing at least uh, 15 guns or uh, equipment, or whatever, however you want to think about it. And um, I wake up today, uh, check my phone like usual, go went on Twitter. And, um, I just, I, uh, ran into a tweet from, uh, Drifter and Michael Condry, Condry. and, uh, for those of you guys that don't know who they are, uh, Drifter is basically a YouTuber that, uh, tests a lot of guns, uh, for, like, statistics and things like that, so, um, he, uh, brings a lot to the community, and then Michael Condry is actually the, uh, CEO, I believe, of, uh, Advanced Warfare, uh, Sledgehammer Games. And, um, he's actually a, a pretty sneaky guy. He always gives out little hints, but he doesn't usually, uh, give out the exact information. Like, he always uh, makes you guess. So, um, I checked... I uh, know the teammate. Uh, I checked my, um, Twitter this morning, and I saw a tweet from both of them. And uh, it's gonna come up on the screen right here in a couple seconds. And it, it was at 6 in the morning. And it says, uh, Drifter tweeted to Michael Condry, and he says... Wait until you see what comes out this afternoon. I found some odd differences between PS4 and Xbox One frame rates and fire rates. And uh, Michael Condry, being the um, sneaky little villain that he is, tweets back saying, Sounds interesting. Wait until you see what comes out this afternoon, too. So uh, he could be uh, in, uh, referring to all of the uh, gun buffs that are going to be coming up um, this afternoon. Or, um, there will be something possibly different in the, uh, update. Um, there's gonna be, like I said, 15 guns that are gonna be getting buffed. Uh, K5, MP11, MK14, uh, a bunch more. Can't remember the names of them. But, uh, what's gonna happen if these guns, uh, overpower the rest? So, what happens if the K5 suddenly becomes the best gun in the game and nobody uses the battle anymore? Uh... Is it going to be as interesting to watch? Uh, most likely, yes. Um, obviously, you're going to see uh, different variations of guns coming into uh, Call of Duty. So, it's going to make gunfights more interesting. And uh, it's going to be more interesting to watch. So, um, something to really think about. Um, will they be adding a lot more different guns? Um, will the BAL and the SM1 be dethroned? For all we know, the K5 and the MP11 could be the best uh, submachine guns, and uh, MK14 could be the best AR. So uh, we don't know anything that could hop happen. Uh, let me know, you guys, think in the comments below. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. I uh, usually don't really make these videos often. Uh, usually try and upload just gameplay, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Something a little different, and peace out.